Hello everyone and welcome to this recording. I'm Hisham Mukhtar Ali Singh, Reservoir Engineer. In this video, I will talk about specifically on uh, volume calculations in uh, reservoir simulation models. So uh, we have uh, this uh, model. So for any 3D uh, reservoir model, uh, to take about a quick overview of this model, uh, let's open a 3D window as you can see. So in uh, this model, uh, in models band, I, uh, we have this uh, 3D grid. Let's uh, uh, display one of the uh, 3D grid properties like uh, porosity. So this is a model we have in uh, this 3D uh, uh, model. So in uh, 3D tab, as you can see, you can display the uh, legend to uh, uh, to show the uh, porosity uh, range, a minimum and maximum value. We can also display the uh, available wells in this uh, in this model, and this is the distribution of uh, porosity. We have to adjust the color table to uh, adjust the colors on the uh, specific uh, porosity uh, range in this model. So uh, to start on uh, volume calculations, we can open the uh, uh, property modeling. As you can see, we have uh, the volumetrics. Uh, under uh, property modeling, we have volumetrics group, contacts, and uh, volume. So let's display at first. Uh, we have in this model this contact set. Uh, we have uh, the uh, oil water contact at uh, level minus 2600 uh, 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 meter, and this is the uh, the gas oil contact as uh, at level minus oh, uh, 1600 meter. So in uh, in volume, we, let's click on uh, volume under volumetrics group. Uh, let's uh, display. We have case one. In case one, we have uh, this is the uh, volume calculation uh, window in uh, Bitwell. So we have three uh, three tabs. In the first tab, which is the uh, properties. Uh, first, uh, as you can see, you have to uh, define. And select the 3D grid. So we have the simulation grid up scaled. So under uh, properties tab, we have uh, fluid zones. Uh, so we have two zones, oil and uh, gas zone. For every zone, we can uh, define the uh, uh, corresponding uh, fluid level. So uh, let's this is the oil water contact and click here. And for gas oil contact, and click here to event. For general uh, properties, as you can see, for uh, volume calculations, we have uh, according to the volumetric equation, uh, it's a function of uh, AH and phi, which is gross rock volume multiplied by velocity and uh, uh, multiplied by uh, oil saturation or 1 minus SWI, a reducible water saturation. And all of this is divided by the uh, uh, initial oil formation uh, volume factor. So the general properties for uh, in volume calculations, as you can see, is uh, not the gross and the porosity. So uh, we can uh, we can check the average porosity in this uh, in this model. Double click in the porosity under the properties folder. So in the statistics tab, as you can see, we have this minimum and maximum value of uh, porosity. And uh, in this description, we have this uh, mean value of post, which is uh, about uh, 0.13. So I will use the uh, uh, post as constant value, which is the average value, min uh, which is uh, 0.13. And keep note because as constant value is uh, 1. For the L zone, I will use the uh, water saturation as uh, constant value 0.5. And for uh, the uh, oil formation volume factor, I will use uh, as 1.5 as constant value. For gas zone, uh, uh, similarly, I will use water saturation as 0.5 and keep uh, gas uh, oil formation, uh, gas formation volume factor as it is. So uh, for the second important step, which is settings and settings, as you can see, we can uh, define the uh, output settings. In, uh, in this volume uh, calculation, so you can make a property for uh, different uh, volumetrics uh, outputs like uh, the uh, 
Haduka bun bu volumen olsun, haduka bun bu volumen gelsun and so on. So I will select the stoibin and stoibin oil zone and stoibin gas zone. And for reports, report setting you can assign and customize the different settings for the value of numbers of all volumetric outputs. So uh, select the case which is case one, and uh, you can increase or decrease this uh, value and click uh, apply and okay. And then you can uh, make volume calculations in specific regions or uh, faces or uh, fault segments and so on. But I will uh, calculate for the entire model, and you can calculate volume on specific boundary polygons and so on. So uh, this is the uh, the process of uh, and the formulas used in volume calculations, as you can see, and this is the uh, constant uh, fluid parameters, uh, specifically oil and gas formation volume factor, solution gas oil ratio, and vaporized uh, oil gas uh, ratio. So uh, now we can click apply. So uh, so as you can see, we have this message uh, clicking. Click apply. We have to click uh, after that uh, to uh, to save uh, our uh, uh, modifications to run uh, volumes. Click uh, run as you can see. So once you click run, as uh, you will find automatically this uh, volumetric uh, report. In this report, you have a description of uh, this case, uh, the uh, uh, model, and the uh, hydrocarbon uh, intervals general properties used in this uh, case the uh, properties in gas interval and the oil interval and for uh, the case which is case one we have a story about uh, 360 uh, million uh, standard uh, cubic meter from uh, volume calculations so uh, now we need to uh, make a model uh, initialization uh, to compare the uh, results of uh, of uh, volumetrics, so uh, to uh, make uh, uh, initialization, we have to uh, define case. So to define a simulation case uh, in uh, this uh, window in under simulation tab, you will find simulation group define case. In define case, as you can see, you can uh, edit existing or uh, create new case. So I will. Uh, I have this case which is initial. So in uh, define simulation case window, as you can see, you have several uh, tabs. To, uh, the first, which is uh, description, and uh, the grid to select the 3D grid functions, which is uh, fluid uh, model and rock physics functions, development strategy, advanced and the results. But at first, you have to uh, select the simulator. Uh, and the type of uh, reservoir which is single velocity uh, model and select the 3D grid which is the uh, simulation upscaled so uh, for grid I uh, the uh, basic uh, 3D grid the purpose for any uh, simulation case uh, is uh, velocity and directional vulnerability velocity and vulnerability in X and Y and J uh, direction uh, and K direction and uh, for net growth, I will use uh, use it as constant value. For functions, we have to uh, define the uh, rock physics function and uh, the initial conditions from the BVT model. So uh, you can click an uh, input band. As you can see, we have this folder which is a fluid folder. And the fluid folder, we have this uh, initial condition one. So uh, this is the initial condition one. For uh, drainage relative vulnerability under the uh, rock physics function, we have this uh, uh, the uh, uh, drainage relative vulnerability for sand. And for rock compaction, we have this property right here. So for strategy step, in the strategy step, we can uh, import and define different development strategies. But in the initialization uh, run, we uh, we can make uh, a simulation case without de uh, uh, defining any development strategies because we uh, just need to uh, define initial pressures and saturation in the 3D grid 
at the um, initial condition without any uh, production so uh, I will keep it as a blank for advanced you can uh, you have uh, different settings for the uh, advanced grid runtime options you can uh, limit the simulation uh, time at a specific uh, period and show hide uh, the simulation control and so on and for uh, we have several uh, options and settings related to uh, the current sensibility and partial export for results uh, which is very important uh, for our uh, case uh, we uh, you can uh, define the required uh, uh, results in for summary vectors initial 3d grid properties uh, like uh, the uh, net gloss and the porosity uh, recurrent which is uh, it's a 3d uh, properties as a function of time so i uh, as you can see i uh, i selected uh, two important flood properties oil and gas formation volume factor and uh, uh, same property for uh, uh, porosity for brt which is print file we uh, need to uh, display one of the important uh, properties which is uh, water saturation and oil saturation and uh, initial condition and then we can uh, click apply to save our uh, settings so our uh, next step to uh, click uh, check and uh, and click run so i will click run directly to run uh, this uh, uh, simulation case so once you click run as you can see you will find this simulation control or cmd.exe uh, window so it uh, it um, it shows the uh, progress of your simulation uh, run so uh, this is the uh, end of uh, the run and i will click ok so uh, to display the uh, results of uh, cases so in cases banner as you can see we have this initial case and uh, case one for initial case you can uh, click uh, right click as you can see and uh, select the print file so in the print file we have this is the summary of this simulation case uh, what's important to uh, to highlight in in this uh, print file which is uh, volumetrics in uh, for this uh, uh, case so uh, in uh, this part of the uh, print file uh, we have field totals is the uh, average uh, reservoir uh, pressure and pool volume so what's important right here is the currently in place volume which is uh, 578 million uh, standard cubic meters meter and originally uh, in place which is the same number because we have no production so this is the results of initialization so uh, back to uh, the uh, uh, volume calculations to uh, to adjust some of the properties but before this step we have to go to results uh, band and the results band you have to select the, uh, the case which is initial case we need to export some of the 3D grid uh, properties into uh, the model. So uh, under uh, simulation grid results, we have uh, the dynamic results. We need to get uh, water saturation. Uh, so right click on water saturation and convert to 3D grid property. So once we click uh, this option, we have this window settings for simulation grid results. So at first you have to select the simulation case which is initial case or initialization case we need to export the water saturation and uh, get the uh, oil formation volume factor and the gas formation volume factor and which at which time step which is this is the initial time step at January 1 uh, 1980 which is uh, then I click apply and OK so uh, back to uh, models when as you can see we have uh, new uh, 3d uh, grid properties which is uh, stoib from case uh, in uh, in this uh, this one we have uh, uh, the uh, initial uh, the uh, this folder which is the uh, properties from initial case uh, water saturation oil formation volume factor and the gas formation volume factor 
So uh, back to uh, the property modeling, uh, volume calculation, this is the second case, case number two. So in case two, I will keep all of the uh, settings as it is, uh, oil and the gas zone, and for general, so I, uh, instead of using the uh, a constant value for velocity uh, like uh, this, I will use the uh, velocity distribution from the 3D grid. For uh, in oil zone, I uh, instead of using a constant value for water saturation, I will use water saturation uh, from the initialization results, which is uh, water saturation at initial conditions. And for uh, same for oil formation volume factor uh, from the uh, 3D uh, model uh, property, and same for uh, the uh, uh, water saturation in gas zone and ga and gas formation volume factor. So now click apply to save the uh, your settings and click run. So and uh, now this is the Okay, now this is the results of case number two. Uh, we have uh, stoib, which is uh, for case number two, which is 572 uh, million standard cubic uh, meter, which is uh, very close to the uh, results of uh, initialization. So this is the uh, uh, summary of uh, this uh, recording. So you have to adjust the uh, uh, initial distribution of uh, 3D grid properties in volume calculation using uh, the initialization run. That's all I have in this uh, uh, recording. Thank you so much and see you in the uh, next events.